Welcome to Let's Talk About It Over Cocktails with Carly. I am your host, Miss Carly Baby. Tonight we have an amazing show set up with our girl, Terry Arcelia. Please tune in. This is going to be amazing. You guys don't want to miss it. All right, guys, welcome to the show, Miss Terry. Thank you, Sissy. How do you say your last name? Arcelia. But not like. Not, not like silly, like sale. <laughs> like, a, like a sale like phone. Like a sale phone. Arcelia. Or, a ce or a celery. Celery, yeah. <laughs> Arcelia. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, so amazing. So thank you so much for joining us. It is my pleasure. Yes. Thank you for having me. I'm of so course. happy. My Pisces queen. Yes, my Pisces goddess. Thank you, dog. Okay, don't be getting mad in the back. That, that's Period. not Pisces. It's, it's a what okay. a sign thing. Okay. 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 Right? <laughs> so thank you. tell us, okay, so before we get, I want to make sure that we definitely, so before we get into our conversation and okay. all that little fun stuff, getting judgy, you know, because we're going to be doing a little judgy. I'm okay, scared. don't take offense okay um we definitely wanted to thank our sponsors so our sponsors are golden moth candles which um is absolutely amazing so good yes so good and um shout out to uh alicia the realtor for ensuring that we have amazing snacks thank and you. some Beautiful. cocktails and all that yes. fun stuff um in the back so check her out at on Instagram at alicia the realtor yes shout out to Trav in the back he will be making his cameo appearances brace yourself <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> so, um, with that further ado, tell us something interesting for those yes. that do not know you. Okay, because she is an amazing actress. Thank you. Artist. Thank you. Extraordinaire. Thank you. So, without that, without without further ado, yes. tell us something interesting about you. Alrighty. So, I'm Terry Arcelia. I am an actress, I do music, recording artists, I write, I sing, I rap. Um, I was on this show for BET called College Hill many years ago. Oh, I so remember College Hill. Some of y'all might remember me from that. Uh, uh, and if you don't, uh, find out. Please don't. Please don't. Just, 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 just um, put that aside. Um, outside of that, I make people laugh. I have made a lot of folks laugh, and I'm blessed for that. Thank y'all. Yes. All the people that laugh from my videos. Yes. I appreciate it. And it'd be so funny because I got favorite characters, girl. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Thank you, friend. And you know, I'm in Atlanta now and just loving the city, thriving, yes. training, and you know, just, oh gosh, I'm just so happy to be here and yes. just living my best artist life. Yes. Yes. So I love that. And so we won't talk about your new projects because they haven't been released yet, no. but you've got a lot of things coming down the turnpike. But soon, in the spring, I'm loving it. She'll be back on national television. Yes. Um, one of the top rated shows for a major network. Mm -hmm. Tune in. It's love, cooking, yes. relationships, fights, all types of things. Um, I'm blessed because. I didn't even have to audition for it. They found me. Oh, I love They're it. They're like, you're funny. Please, please, please be a part of this. You're hilarious. Yes. We love you. And I was like, look at God. It's yeah, like, but Terry, you won't know he you do are. It. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Because it's already done. Honey. <laughs> Praise him in a bag. Like, <laughs> Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp. Marvin the, Sapp. The Sapp. The Sapp. <laughs> Not Warren. I'm sorry. No no disrespect to Warren. Let me, I'm going to be quiet. Oh, my God. Please. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> we've had our fair share, okay? Because me and Terry, we know each other outside yes, of the show. Yes. And we have had some real fun deck time. Absolutely. So, uh, and that's just hanging out on the deck, having some cocktails. Yes, I and love that. Do that you remember that one time we had my daughter go get us a cake? First of all, your daughter is gorgeous. <laughs> thank and you. And every time I see her, I'm like, I hope my child is half as Aww, pretty as she thank is. You. And she's sweet and she's respectful she is. and well spoken yes. and brilliant. Aww. And I literally am like, Lord, please bless me with a child half this <laughs> amazing one Aww, day. I no, no, that. no, no BS. She's yes. literally everything. She is. You did a phenomenal thank job. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. really appreciate that. You're welcome. That. You're she welcome. is. I have to toot. She Honey, is she's everything. But girl. So Terry came over. We were on the deck with some other friends. Shout out to our friend Don Lamar. Don, Don. my baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, shout out to Wildlife. Wildlife. Period. This is a wildlife liner and Period. lip gloss. Get into it. Get all the way into it. Period. So, and that's a hashtag ad. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, we were on the deck and we were just like, 
laying out, and we were like, you know what? We want some cake. Yes! And my daughter went and bought us a she full is the round. She sweetest thing. Cake. It had strawberries Strawberry. on top. And honey, I was living my best life. Yes. I was like, oh. This and is amazing. So so we're laying out on the deck. It's a beautiful day. Yes. Okay. And we're cutting cake and we're eating cake. And <laughs> and it was something else. And then we like made some food. We were just, it was it was a it was we a were having a great time. Day with good friends, yes. good vibes. It's I always it. a good vibe. It's always a good vibe. And yes. that's important. Love it. So, okay, so we're gonna get into our first segment. Okay. And so Trav in the back told me to change the name because one of our really good friends. Um, shout out to New on the uh, a pod named Kickback. Okay. He also has a segment named very similar. I didn't okay. realize it, but he said Carly got to change that. So All right. I probably will end up changing it, but until further ado, or until <laughs> then, here it is. Okay. We have a segment called This or That. Okay. So this segment, within the segment, I'll ask you a few questions and you'll select what best suits your preference. Heard. All right. So... It's not going to be that bad because I wanted to warm you up a little bit. Just warm you up a little bit, girl. Okay, it's okay. Let's go. All right. So it's either this or that. Heard. Right? Heard. So cocktails or shots? Uh, oh, shots. Shots? Yeah. You're I like. That. I just like to get it done quick. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that, guys? Get I'm, it done quick. Well, not with <laughs> men, but with my liquor. Not with men. Right. With my liquor. <laughs> I, I would definitely say make sure you um talk about the, you, you specify <laughs> what you like men. to get done quick. I don't want no one minute man, but no, with my shots, I need her to get straight to the point. <laughs> Period. I'm a Pisces. We don't play them games. Right. Exactly. Okay. Period. All right. So all right. So here's the next one. So would you rather be set up on a blind date from a serial dating friend, or meet someone online on online dating? I would say from a friend. The I, serial dating friend? Yeah, because I'm I'm scared of online dating. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm a traditional girl. I'm a 90s kid, yeah. and I just can't get with this legendary online dating <laughs> situation. She scares me. Yeah, so if Let's, you see a profile that's got Terry's face, it's, it's not her. It's not me. No. It's not her. Mm -mm, no, I'm old-fashioned. So <laughs> at least my friend would know what I like right. and what I'm looking for, whether she is... um. A Jezebel or not, at least she Shout out knows. to the Jezebel. It's okay to live your life. Live your life, sis. We don't shame. Shout right. out to Amber Rose. Okay. Because she follows me, and that's my legendary good sis. Okay, hello, Miss Amber Period. Rose. Period. We're not judging, but at the end of the day, at least my friend know me. Right. Period. And I would prefer that versus online dating because... You never know what you get. It's scary. It is scary. It is, honestly, it is the new wave, though. I don't have time. But it is very scary. I'd rather be alone forever than before I go out on that internet. Oh, I can't, it's scary. I can't, I can't do it. All right, mm -mm. the verdict is out. Mm -mm. All right, so um, who <laughs> cheats more, men or women? Oh, my Lord. Um, that's, that's easy. And all the fellas, like, I love men, especially yes. my strong black oh, men. me too. Um, especially the strong ones. But, but y'all think with your penis. Mm. And please don't judge me. Um, men cheat more than women. And, okay. and even, you know, even in the Bible, those of us who believe in the Lord, women, <laughs> we are more emotional than men. So for us, we will fight. We have that loving the connection. Endure, yes, we will a fight man, for he'll, it. he'll go, he like a dog. Granted. Or a squirrel. He trying to get a nut. Just, <laughs> just like a squirrel trying to get a nut. Exactly. That's what right? we prioritize. Um, I've worked around a lot of men, and I've been around a lot of men, and they'll tell me straight up, like, Terry, men are like dogs. They kind of wander, da-da-da-da, and do their thing. This is just from what I hear from mm -hmm. men. Men are very quick to give a legendary, mm. a legendary um, mm. wander. Right. But women, we have more of an emotional connection, right. so definitely men. So men cheat more. Absolutely. Okay. Because there's a lot of stuff on the internet right now that's floating around about like, oh, men, women cheat more than men. No, that's And a they're lie. able to hide it better. No, that's and a so, lie. It, and that's a lie. Men, they'll, and I love men. Please don't take this as yeah, a shame. Yes, not a man bashing But y'all, y'all will, y'all, y'all, y'all. They will have sex with anybody. Pretty much, pretty much. Some men will have sex with anybody. And then they say it's just sex. It's not emotional. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Look, here come, look, girl, look, look, girl. <laughs> here he go. Girl, 7,000 in the back, girl. Here so y'all do know that there is a, it's a video um, going around the internet right now with this dude. I think his name is Steph something, and he is saying that men will have sex with anything, even if they're not attracted to it. I, I believe that. And so I appreciate the honesty. Women are a lot different. Y'all are a lot more selective unless uh -oh. you are selling that poom poom. Yeah, well, 
some those of that are different type of poom pooms, women, and and no shade to those women, because listen, get it how you live, and I respect and love all women. Me too. But the majority of us are emotional creatures, yep. and we value connection. So yeah, we are less prone to do that. Yeah. I would agree mm -hmm. because I'm not I'm not interested in just busting it wide open just because somebody's exactly attractive. like like what like I there's a whole it. exchange of energy here I agree like there's a whole like you touching me and I don't really know who you are I can't even kiss right? you if I'm not into you me neither I can't even sleep with a man if I feel like I'm not damn near in love with him you know what Maybe but I'm not. a Pisces so I fall in love every yeah you we talked about that hours. Well, don't tell nobody else friend it's, so, it's okay <laughs> Okay. So I fall in love in 48 hours. I do maybe seven to two sometime. I, you know what I fall in love with? I fall in love with the way that a man treats me. If he treats me like a queen, my mama, it, you know, then that makes me like really feel like wow. Because it's easy for a man to find somebody, yeah, to like you know be with, touch, yeah. whatever. But when he actually takes his time, I agree. Out, and treat you like a I lady agree. And, Absolutely. and really court you. That's and, the same thing with me. Yes. But that's tricky because sometimes it's love bombing. Well, there's a difference. Yeah. So you can tell if somebody is love bombing you, if it's, you know, or if it's really just their language, they're really into you because you'll feel it. You'll feel that you're into them Honey, too. It's giving healed Pisces. It's giving healed Pisces because she's a healed woman. Okay. Come on. Come on. Look at all the healed ones. Come on. <laughs> Are you in therapy? Are you in therapy? And Have guess what? It is okay. Come on. It is okay for men to go through therapy. Please. In fact, I can appreciate and respect a man even more on his journey. Absolutely. And have more patience Absolutely. if he is looking to heal himself. Absolutely. Don't go to two and think you heal. No. Don't go to one or three or four sessions and then fire every oh person. Oh my God. Because you're not healed. You're just looking for somebody that's going to tell you what you want to hear. Period. Period. That's literally one of the first questions I ask men. Like, when, if we're open and we talk about like our backgrounds and stuff, I'm like, are you in therapy? Like, that's a turn on right. for me. I love an emotionally aware, aware man. Aware and vulnerable. Like, yeah. I love a man that's willing to be, to, to do the work. Period. To understand like that I'm a woman that you can be vulnerable with. Please. The one thing I can't stand is a man to be super guarded. Yeah. And doesn't want to do the work. Oh, Lord. Okay, because y'all out there. This is triggering. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't I'm sorry. do it for it. I'm don't. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> taking me back and so I just really really want more men to understand that it's okay even from a black woman and from Please. black women yes we're okay if you are working through these traumas because everybody has traumas it's just different levels exactly so yes yes yeah. yes yes if we literally that's a turn on for us yeah but not the traumas Getting, the working, working through, through it, it. Absolutely. and cons consist consistently yep and consecutively working to heal yourself to Amen. be a better man for yourself and for, for your the person partner. that you're with, Amen. your partner, and Amen. a family man, and perpetuate this community. Honey. Because we need to grow this community, right? You're like, Why? Trav, honey, he's going he to jump in on this one, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the last one. This was actually a really good one. Okay. So who's more of a husband? Okay. Okay. Would it be a Morris Chestnut? Ooh. Or would it on. be Jay-Z? Now, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I like some chocolate. I'm a chocolate fan too. And also, I'm partial to Morris Chestnut because I did a TV show with him uh -huh. years ago in Miami, and he was so kind, and he shook my hand, and he was so sweet, mm. as if I wasn't already in love with him. He just and, and, icing on the cake. And then you. I became obsessed. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Bless his heart. Bless right. his heart. Ricky! <laughs> Ricky! I'm sorry. Um, bless, bless him, Lord. Um, yes. So he's your it. He is it. Honey, I'm gonna tell you right now, I like some chocolate. And I'm sorry, bring it back, bring it back, Terry. Um, okay. And I don't really think no no chocolate man exceeds the level of fineness as legendary Mel Chestnut. How did I choose that Terry. one out of all the ones? That's not even a competition. No. So the reason why I chose Jay Z is because he seems more very re more I of a don't give a fuck. <laughs> Don't give it up. Oh. He got all them cheering and you know he be yeah, a whole bless daddy. His heart. I love Jay-Z. Granted, I'm love an him. artist and a lyricist. Yes. I Song Cry is one of my favorite records of Ooh. all time. The vulnerability and it's I love it. But I'm um, more chestnut, bless his heart. That's it. Bless Morris is his, it is it. I ain't gonna say nothing else because he married, but bless his heart. Right. But figuratively speaking, he would be. And and just sometimes I think about like 
what would this person really be like? Mm. I don't ponder often. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, what would this person actually be like if they were a husband? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's what is, been with his wife for many, and many, I love many years. That. And it's private. He's a he's a Denzel. And he, and yes, and he protects I love that. it. Yes. Come on. And you know what? Speaking of that, and I'm glad you said that, Terry, mm -hmm. because you have to protect Come on. your union. Yeah. Whoever it is that you're with, you're even dating or courting or trying to get to know. I like I like to I'm kind of old fashioned with it. I kind of like to date one at a time mm, until me too. I can figure out if this me is the too. person I like or not. I agree. I agree. Because I feel like when you're dating so many people at one time, how can you truly give like your energy, yeah. your full on attention? Otherwise, what you're doing is you're just comparing. I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. I feel like if I've met someone that I like, I'm going to give them my attention yeah. and we'll see how it goes. Like, I can't lay it low and spread it wide. Yeah, exactly. I'm not in the streets. It, me, yeah, me neither. I can't. Yeah. I agree. Trav, what do you <laughs> think about that? Would you would you uh, date one at a time or do you believe in? My friends literally ripped me to shreds earlier this year because I was dating a guy and only him. And I think I know about this. Yeah, you know. I'm not going to say you nothing, You know, friend. it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> He'll be back. Don't they Oh, all. no. <laughs> Nadia will be back. Bless your heart. Um, but no, they ripped me to shreds like, girl, you need to date more than one. I'm like, I can't. I can't. I love them. I know. I love them. But it, it's, you know, it for, it's tough. a case by case situation. It for is me, a case I by can't. case. I would say it is yeah. case by case. Yeah. For me, it's a move. If I feel like dating more than one person, then I will. Do you catch but a move? Yeah. I always have to be honest. Let me and tell I respect you, that. if a guy told me he was dating multiple women, it would be a turnoff for me. And I asked Shorty and earlier I this year, I was like, are you with other women? Like, we agreed to How? be exclusive. If you just so, met this guy and he told you he's dating, yeah, no, no, why would it be a turnoff? This is after, so, so granted, I get it. It's the beginning stage. Yeah. But if we're like a month and a half in, I agree with you on that. Yeah, like, that's, that's, No, you yeah. need to know if so, you want to deal with okay. me or not. I don't mean to cut you off or hop into y'all conversation. Come on in, Travis. But uh, after, you said a month and a half, 45 days? About, about 30 days. If you tell me that you're dating other people, I'm going to be like, I don't chew them in, And that's me? how I feel. Um, but I understand. Oh, God, because dudes fall in love. I'm going to probably be the smashed time. already because it don't Whether take that long. <laughs> I'm sorry so to minute, tell you. It don't yeah. take that long to smash. No, it don't. How long does it typically take on average for some men? Um, it depends on it depends on how aggressive you are with that and how how persistent you are. We talking about smashing. Yeah, it don't take that long. Forty five days. I think that's a long time. If no. if if I haven't if we haven't had sex forty five days from now, that's a lot. They, she really and we've Harvey been Gold. consistently <laughs> dating. Uh, no, if we are know. actually your court, we're actually courting each other. We are serious with an intention. We're grown. Forty-five yeah. days is kind of the a, longest that's a long time. time. That Steve Harvey yeah, book girl. Nah, nah. If if there's a connection, like a strong connection, granted, that's kind of rare for me. But if it's a strong connection, the longest I'm gonna give you about two weeks. You see what I'm saying? She said, I got to know. So uh, yeah. so you know what? And but me see, and Trav, we talked about this. Hey, look, what would stop that is if he hasn't invited you over. Or you haven't oh, no, invited you him over. But, I, over. Some, but I've you been know. invited over sometimes and I don't want to. Prematurely. To, it just no, because I, understand I know, that's, you know yeah, what I'm that's a, you to know, avoid the temptation. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like a guy to prematurely invite me over. No, either. no, no, no. Because I feel like, dude, like, I'm, I'm a woman. Yeah. Like, take me someplace, coffee. No, yeah. Or let's go, you know, someplace social Absolutely. where we can go someplace, sit down and have a couple cocktails. And then, see, for me, I'm not ashamed to invite a person over. You might well, yeah, clean. I think it's a you shame, know what I'm saying? You I come through. Like, you feel me? I just feel like with the intention that I'm going through, like, and yeah. I, the, what I want, I don't want to just come to your house like that. I mean, I've been invited to dinners and all kinds. So, Carly, let me ask you something. I mean, I mean after two dates, you don't want to. After 14 days, I've been talking <laughs> every day. Y'all have been on a couple of days. At this point, if there's a connection, I'm just going to jump on it. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, so raise the loud. Uh, uh, like I, I okay. The reference the situation that I was in earlier this year. Like yes. he would be like, "Oh, my place is really nice. I have a great view." Da da da. And I'd be like, "I'm not coming over your place." Yeah, I, ain't I told him straight that, up, man. I'm like, "Cause I'll fuck you." I told him just like that, <laughs> straight Cause, up. Cause I'm a real bitch. I told him just like, "I, I will fuck you, sir." I will fuck you. I will fuck you so fuck out fuck of your life body. Up. He should have. He <laughs> should have caught a direction but, but it's as too soon as you said. So, so let's give this a little bit more time, because <laughs> okay. I actually he, like you, he, right? He, and then there's he, that yeah. when you actually like, yes, like yes, somebody, yes. then your emotions take over. Yes, and then you get that little tingly feeling, and then stuff and it's starts, like, nope, I need to go right. home. I wanna go. All right. Home. <laughs> now. 
<laughs> I want to go home. But not really. But the- <laughs> exactly. But my brain is like, bitch, if you don't get in that car. Is it the brain? Yes. Or is it the- my brain literally will be like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Red alert. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Take your Pisces ass, ass home. home. <laughs> Period. <laughs> okay. You have so- a whole rod in you. Don't try. And here you go. He's about to go from zero to 7,000. I'm not. I'm, I'm good. scared. I'm having a good time. Y'all. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, my God. He said I'm enjoying myself. I love it. Okay. So, um, all right. So, let's get into this next segment, which is our couch, couch and cocktail segment. Okay. And so, this segment is made of everything couch talk. We kind of got all into it. All <laughs> right. But this is where we dig deep into our opinions, how we feel, and what's really going on. Okay. So you are a comedian. Yes. One of one of many hats that you wear. Yes. Okay, so and you hella funny. Thank you, sister. Because I'm gonna tell you my favorite. That deal with that homeless man, honey, that crack. Thank you. <laughs> the crack man gets me all the time. So Thank I just you. love that. But you Thank are you. so versatile in, Thank in your you, your 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 craft, right? So I'm trying to keep it cute because that I was looking at one today, honey, and that soul train get I was say like, I'm smoking. Right <laughs> Because we all know crackheads that think they, they all got that little dance, honey, and they're very talented. Even that. So talented. Think big, bitch. Think, think big, big, bitch. Think big, bitch. <laughs> okay. I watched it about 25 times, and I was like, this is a mantra. Facts. Facts. <laughs> so, um, okay. So when it comes down to dating, being a comedian, mm-hmm. do, wait, how do you, are you able to separate the two? Because I know you to be able to separate and be yeah. normal. But yeah. when you meet somebody and they've seen you online, they see your social media, they've seen you in movies, they yeah. see... So do they come to you and they're like, okay, who am I going to get? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think when men first meet me, they are kind of enamored by what they think they're going to get. Right. And so when they meet me, they're like, who is this overly sensitive, emotional ass bitch? Because in real life, I'm not really like that. Right. Like in real life, like, yeah, I crack jokes, but I'm actually extremely sensitive. Right. I mean, any man that's ever known me know, Terry, you're so sensitive. Like, I'm scared sometimes. I don't want to hurt you. I'm a Pisces. Like, I'm a sensitive person. So as funny and silly and crazy as I am online, if you know me personally, I'm not really like that. Right. So a man that knows me personally knows the sensitivity. Right. And so he might be like, oh, this is cool. I'm with Terry, da-da-da. She's funny, da-da-da. I'm like... Honey, you about to get something completely different. <laughs> yes, I crack jokes, but I'm really not like right. that all the time this is in a real life. Character that I'm yeah. playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it 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 throws them off. They're like, "Damn, this bitch is is emotional." <laughs> I'm so I'm an actor. What the hell do you expect? Right, like right. I'm actually very sensitive. That is so funny because yeah. I've met actors, uh, other actors, and it's like you expect them, but in in social, private social, yeah, and, and you expect them to be a certain type of way. And then you, they're like totally different. Yep. And you're just like, how is this? Yeah. I'm looking for, and it's just like kind of like Drake. So, yes. So a lot of people meet Drake, Drake. Like they'll say, oh, I met Drake and I thought he was like this and he's really like that. And he's like really and like well spoken. Like, yeah, really yeah. well spoken. Yeah. And he's speaking and enunciating everything. And <laughs> like, shout out to Drake. This is not Drizzy. And <laughs> on, like in a club, like skipping and doing stuff. Yeah. And they're like, that's what I was exactly, expecting. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, he has an image that yep. he's upholding. And yeah. I'm sure that that real person, like prob- people probably wouldn't really even like that real person. That every day. I mean, because I... Because people have fallen in love with a character. Yeah, I feel like my realness is very just... I'm extremely open, extremely emotional. It's just a lot of people don't get to see that side mm, of me. Mm-hmm. Um, which I want to show more of that. And I plan to show more of that. Well, you're doing it now. Yes. And let's talk about it over cocktails yes. and with Carly. Yes, I'm doing it now. <laughs> And men, I, I feel like when they get with me, they're like, oh my God, like she's such a softy. Like she's such a sweetheart or whatever. You're such a sweet person. Thank you. You really are. And you're a very delicate person. Ugh, but you're not a you. person where it's like, you're not one of those, you're not a pushover. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just that my makeup is I'm a sensitive person. Like mm-hmm. I'm a sensitive person. Yeah. But I don't open the sensitivity to everybody. Absolutely. You know, and so it's one of those things where you just have to know who to be sensitive yeah with, and my I man mean? is just like lord help me i need a drink <laughs> this girl's cry baby help me lord <laughs> wait so so my next question is have you ever dated like other comedians uh, no. no 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 
Most of the guy, well, no, I've never dated anyone who does what I do. Okay. No. Um, so that's good to know because I'm sure a lot of guys probably wonder because you do skits with other men. No, I like, and it's so funny. Those are just my homies. Girl, men are funny. Yeah. They think the homies beat them, homies to smash no, and everything else. No, those are my brothers, my Women family. Women can be friends with yeah. men and not have sex. No, like those are literally them. my fam. Like, yes. like shout out to Robbie World. Yes. He's a top influencer in Atlanta. Yes. Shout out to my friend Poetic J. We've been friends for many years. Yes. These are literally my friends. Like yes. I've cried on their couch yeah. over another guy. Oh gosh. And and they've been like Terry, like get yourself together. Yeah. Like they literally helped me. We're family. Yeah. And so whoever is with me is gonna have to understand, which isn't easy being with an actor, that I will be around other men. That I will good, kiss yeah. other men. I will have sex scenes with other men. That's not easy. One of That's my old coaches. Sex scenes, yeah. Guys. <laughs> it's choreographed. Right. But it's not easy. I mean. Could we deal with something like right. that? It's hard. I always think it's about hard. that. Like yeah. one of my um, my executive producer sent <laughs> me a video yesterday. Okay, when I was minding my own business, <laughs> honey, and it was of a show that she recommended that I watch. Okay, and it was Queen. What is it? All the Queen's Men. Okay, on BT Plus. And it was a whole, okay. I'm about to give you BT Plus. I'm going to tell you that right now. My homegirl just booked a role on that. Shout out okay. to Chantel. Hey, Chantel, girl. <laughs> and so she sent the sex scene. It was, she sent a couple clips. But okay. I clicked on the sex scene. Oh, my. I'm going to show you the sex was scene. Was she graphic? It was, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a one hell of a sex scene. My Lord. And I said, how are they hiding? Yeah. All of this. And yeah. I mean, it was thrusting and there yeah. was movement, there was mm. moaning and it was all, I said, how? It, it really felt like I was looking and, at and, and I'm not going to. And I'm looking at it like, oh my God, who yeah. else is looking at this woman? It's, I'm not going to lie to you. Like as an actor, there have been times, like even just in class that I try to build chemistry with my partner. Yes. So we'll go out and. You have to. We'll hang out. And it's like, my man has to be okay with that and that's hard you, so with that that's said hard. that comes with a very sorry my hair wanted to do something different before <laughs> I felt it it's okay that comes with maturity yes and understanding and trust and honesty and you know it's just one of those things where it's like you have to know that like I am an actress I'm not going anywhere yeah I love you yes yeah and and be okay with it and know that it is just a job yep all right so um that is so funny because that was my next like little nuance was were men that you date, are they able to separate the two? Um, so I will reference the guy that I was dating earlier this year. He was extremely supportive and yes. great and sweet, but um, he would tell me things like, Terry, the thought of a person kissing oh. you, the thought of a person doing what I do with you, and, and, and I would see him tense up. Even as supportive as he was, I understood oh. how hard that was for him. Right. And one of my old acting coaches, he was he told us, you know, be kind to your partner because yeah. it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not. It's not. So, yeah. Being able to watch them be like in those intimate settings that you're usually in. Yeah. With, them. with actors, we do this thing called substitution. So it's like I could be in a scene with this guy. He could be gay. He could be anything. But in my head, I'm probably seeing you. So we, especially, I study the Chubbuck technique, so we use sub, um, substitution. So it's like I have to be able to connect my vo my emotion mm. to something else so I could be seeing you. Right. I'm seeing you in this scene. Girl. And so it's like, I know it's kind of hard for somebody to understand, but. I think some yeah. of us have done that before where we've had Ooh. to see somebody else in somebody while we hey! didn't do it. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm with you, but God knows that I really don't see you. I'm not feeling your hands I right now. This is another I, person. I get it. I get it 100%. <laughs> have you ever done that? Have you ever been intimate with, with someone? With my ex, yeah. And, no, no. Have you? Oh, no, I have. With been my intimate ex, with yes. someone and really didn't and, and want I'm it gonna, to be that and, person? And I'm going to just tell it like it is. With my ex, first of all, I like chocolate. My ex of many, many years was a legendary red bone. Bless his heart. Please <laughs> stop emailing me. I got it. Stop from, emailing her from now. Two, three days Danger. ago, you're blocked. Um, that was a service announcement. It, it was. Bless his heart. He, I'm sure he's watching. Um, yeah, no, I, I likes what I like. I like chocolate. And um, so yeah, there were there was a time there was times that I was envisioning I was with somebody else. Bless his heart, Lord. Yeah, I I wonder do guys. That's that's terrible. But I we're, do we're guys telling do the that. truth today. 
I wonder do guys do that? Probably, because his envision. ass was in the street, so Lord knows what the hell he was envisioning on nasty. Oh, nasty ass. But that's very interesting. So have you done a sex scene yet? No. Are, do you want to do a sex scene? I'm going to have to. These tickle bitties, they're going to make me. Are they going to do an appearance? Absolutely. Like Ariel is and all? Yeah. What? I've just, I've just accepted the girl, fact that- Girl, y'all better be watching, girl, because I'm going to be watching. I, I, wish, I wish I could press a, a, an applause, <laughs> clapping the sound effect right Wait now. You minute. feel me? Travis came <laughs> all the way from over there, honey. He had to get on the mic. OK. <laughs> I've just accepted the fact, like, I'm a curvy woman. I've got big breasts and small waist and a big and a fat booty. What Megan Thee Stallion say? Big old twist and a small waist with a big old. Okay. It is, it is what it is. And honestly, acting is different than how it used to be. Like, everyone's doing sex scenes. It is what it is. And it is choreographed. It's very professional. Yeah. So it's going to happen. You're a professional, so you'll be fine. Yeah. It's not going to be like, you know, bad no. girls club. You no, just no, rip no. your top off and all of a sudden it's exposed. Yeah. Would for you the, ever do like For the a, right price. No, oh, hello just, now. I was just about to open it now, honey. <laughs> it could be all yours for the right price. Period. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what is absolutely off limits to you? So this is work. You could say um, relationships, friendships. Yeah. What is absolutely like off limits? Uh, as far as work, I feel like, uh, like doing like oral or things like that i yeah. haven't seen the or new, insinuating i haven't seen the new season of p valley but girl I, i'm sure they got that on there honey because that's they are off the i've i've scale. heard and no tea no shade like i love p valley i love p valley p valley is awesome it's awesome but, but it's definitely something different she's risque this season she's so i feel risque. like for me as an actor that might be something that i probably might not feel comfortable with would you do a, would you do a stripper like Absolutely. Okay. But I would have to be very careful with that. Yeah. And it, and it would have to be the right thing. I don't want to be typecast. You don't want to be diamond forever. No. And because of my be body and stuff, I like as like I'm funny, but like I actually have talent and I yeah, actually can want, sing want my ass mixed, off and yeah. I actually can rap and I'm actually an actor actor and I train. So please don't put me in a box, right. especially as a sister. Don't put me in a box. Because they, sometimes they're quick to do that. Absolutely. And we didn't handle boxes over here. We no. are we running wild. She doesn't do boxes. Okay. So I would have to be selective with the stripper thing, but I would be open to it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Strippers and got so, a story to tell. What the hell? Strippers have story. In fact, yes. I would love to have a stripper or an exotic dancer on, an yes. escort on, so yes. that they can really let us know what really goes on because yes. there's a lot of like speculations of like, oh, they do this and they do that, but they actually have real lives. They yes. actually have real kids and, and families. Yes, and, and many of them are so sweet. I used to bartend at strip clubs in South Florida and the strippers were so protective of me. I remember one day someone gave, tried to give me drugs and a stripper oh. came out of nowhere and hit their hand and they were like, she doesn't do that. She oh, like, wow. they, these are real women yeah. with character and they're hustling. Yeah. It's in Florida, we call it the naked hustle. Like, so yeah. I have the utmost respect for these women. I love so it. they have a story to tell. I Absolutely. Do too. I think I do too. I think that when things are done unclassy, they get a really like malice name mm -hmm. for, for themselves. Yeah. So, um, okay, so in relationships, what's completely off limits? Don't put it in my butt, ever. Oh, we got more butt play today. I don't, me not, me not like that. Don't do that ever. But don't like butt play. No. You can put your finger there, but don't put your thing in there. I don't like that. You try to put it there. Let I'm, me tell you, this is like. I want to go. I want to go. You will never hear from me again, sir. If they do what? If they try, <laughs> I'll be out so, with a quickness. So yeah, no, that's that's that, off limits, and I'm gonna be looking at you a different way. I'm, so do you think that? So we talked about this on one of our other episodes. Do you think that that's a conversation that you need to have ahead of time? Ah, uh, you know what? I've never had to have that. They but, just knew she don't look like yeah, she don't want this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I've I've never had to have that conversation. Thankfully, men just kind of know. I don't know. I I've never. I'm gonna tell I've you this. I that. think you probably didn't have this conversation because. There are a lot of women that actually enjoy it. And so it's 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 scary because you're like, oh my god, this small thing going in this big this this you know, this big thing going in this small thing, hopefully, and not the other way around. They've got plugs for that. They've got plugs for that. They've got little, you know, <laughs> they got something shit. like that. So uh, <laughs> I think we think of something so small that it doesn't necessarily have a lot of elasticity, like other areas. It ain't and my it, thing. And it's scary. So yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's preference, it's for some. Yeah, it ain't my thing. Bless everybody who, you know, 
If you do it, that's your thing. I mean, case by case. <laughs> shit, because let me tell you, guys like somebody that's able to be very flexible. Let's just put it that well, way. Well, I'm flexible, but don't you put it in my asshole. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna ask you to leave, and I'm, I'm gonna tell, show you where the um, the gay club is up the street. You can fly no. somewhere over there. Somebody, Billy Bobby, he'll like no. it. But TT should not like that. Okay, so <laughs> this is this is a little shift up a gear. So, would you forgive a friend that has betrayed you? Hmm. I mean, I had a friend. Bless her heart. I haven't spoken to her in many years. I am very like protective of who I get close to. Mm. So me um, too at this point in my she, life. I, I started noticing like she would kind of shade me on Instagram. I'm like, is this about me? Is this about me? And I was Publicly? so Publicly? I'm on Instagram. She was saying things that were directed towards me. So you knew what I it was. I knew it was towards me. And then one day I met a mutual friend of hers and the mutual friend kind of pulled me aside and she was like, Terry, like I, I see now like why i didn't want to be friends with her anymore because they grew up together she's like she told me this about you and she oh, said this about your boyfriend so and, and that hurt me to my core because i thought she was like a sister to me um why are you telling my business to someone that i don't even Doesn't know that hurt when somebody that you can do you deem like somebody absolutely close to you, absolutely that feels at liberty to go and yeah. discuss you openly yeah with and someone and else. and at the time i pro probably should have had a conversation with her but i just cut her off completely Fuck her. Well, this was Sorry. many years ago. This is this is many Triggered. years ago. Yeah, this is Triggered. Really, and and you know, I was hurt. Like I've paid Shorty's rent before. Girl, don't get yeah. me into things that I've done. For yeah, people. like I loved yeah. her. I loved her. You know, that and, hurts the most when you really have love for somebody. Yeah, and you really see them as a friend, and they betray you. Yeah. But really, what my what my girlfriend told me, she says, really, those are just fren frenemies. Oh, and absolutely. They just absolutely. want to get close and stand close enough in your life yeah. so that they can see how they feel. Absolutely. And see if they feel like you. And they do feel like the light and they love yeah. the energy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they're not you. And they can never be you. So then when they're out of your light, that's when they get frustrated. And they're like, oh, she ain't really this. And she ain't really that. But that's unfortunate. But look at you now. Ew. <laughs> God is good. Thank you, God, God for your favor and, and protection. That's right. And thanks for the lesson, friends, that, that created the triggers, because now we know. Period. Period. <laughs> so um, we have our last little segment, which is the we tied. The we oh, tied segment. God. Okay. That's things that we just be tired of. Amen. Okay. So what you tired of? Honey, what you tired of seeing? I'm... What you tired of going through? What you Oof. tired of? What are you tired of? My, my, my. I'm tired of two things, and, mm. I, and I'm and I'm gonna speak a little freely on the second one. The first one <laughs> is I'm tired of emotionally unavailable men. Mm. Let's talk about it. Ugh. Percentage wise, how many un emotionally unavailable men are there out here lurking? The majority, ninety five percent. Wow, ninety five percent of you men are unavailable. They just don't feel safe. They don't know how to feel safe. Then they start throwing tantrums if they feel like roadblocks and yes, they try to push you away. But then they, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't have time, baby. Go talk to somebody. Go talk to God, <laughs> therapist, somebody, Lord. <laughs> Um, and also, I'm tired of minority women limiting their potential to just their bodies. Yes, I would agree. Many um, times on social media, I see a lot of us just, and ain't nothing wrong with that, I'm not judging, but I, I feel, as, especially in the South, you know, <laughs> I see so many women only, you know, showing the butt, the butt, the butt, the this, the that, the or, that. Or the titties. They yeah, show it all. The show it all. And it's okay, you know, to each its own, but you're so much more than that. Right. I agree. And, 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 and I know you're more than that. And I want you to know you're more than that. Right. So I'm tired. Sis. You know what? I have to piggyback on that, actually. That was one of mine, actually. It was the ratchetness being celebrated, and now it's considered the face of our culture. Yeah. And so that really bothers me because I'm like, okay, social media, we have this platform, which is great. And we're able to be creative, yeah. you know, and, and change and make, you know, live in our purpose and change lives and all that fun stuff. But it just seems like so much more now it's oversaturated with just some, sometimes and mm -hmm. in, a, in a lot of cases. And I'm really particular on who I follow. Yeah. Ratchetness. Yeah. You know, and it's just really disappointing because... Like, I don't ever see, like, the, we're that. more than that, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm not saying necessarily be the Claire Huxtables. I would love to see more Claire Huxtables because, <laughs> yeah. 
you know, I grew, I grew up on Claire Amen. Huxtable, you yeah. know, and my mother is a Claire Huxtable and she showed me. <laughs> I love that. But it's like, it's really disappointing to constantly see women going. Selling themselves short. Literally opening up their asses on Instagram. Yeah. Literally like nip slips on purpose. And it's just like, girl, why? Why do we have, so it's it's upsetting for me as a, from a, as a, from a cultural standpoint. Mm -hmm. But it's also upsetting from other cultures looking into it, thinking that we're like that when they see us in public. Yeah. So when I go and see, like, because I'm a pro professional as well. So when I go see my clients and they kind of like, you know, wonder, you they'll ask me, oh, Carla, you're like an Atlanta housewife. Mm. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Mm. I'm not. But I think they think it's flattering. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, they're famous and they've got all the, you know, they look the... No, it's not. Mm. It doesn't make me feel good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To, to be positioned that way. I'm a professional. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm Absolutely. a woman. I'm classy. I'm yeah. a lot of other things. You yeah. Know? And not to say that they're not. Yeah. But I don't project those things yeah. that they see. Yeah. So I, I just want us to be able to change the narrative to be more, stand in our power as yes. women and as black women and yes. show more than just our titties and our ass. Amen. And um, yeah. So. Yeah. So that's what we are tired of. And we need to change the narrative. <laughs> yes. And we could do it one by one. One sister at a time. Come on. And we're not saying, you know, be, you know, nuns. Yeah. Not, don't wear. Because black women, we wear many hats. Yes. And please don't put us in a box. Don't put us in a box. All we're saying is we are more than the narrative. Yes. That they try to. We put are on more us. than just our BBLs. Come on. We're more than just <laughs> these big booties and these full juicy legs. Yes. Hats. Understand that we're educated. Aren't we yes. the top? Um, group of educated people in yes, America. Yes. Come on. Black women. Come on. Let's let's get into it. We're more We're than more. that box you try to put us in. That's right. Period. It's out. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, I appreciate Susie. it. It's my pleasure. And I have a gift from one of our sponsors. Oh. Yes. I'm we excited. give gifts on our show. I'm excited. All right. And so this is from Golden Mob. Friend, you know I'm is this a candle? You know I'm a candle crackhead. Yes. And I love your candles. Uh. Is this is this what I think it is? It's what you think it is. Oh, honey! Because <laughs> this this candle has been giving me life. Oh, come on, this get whole waff, legendary waff. episode, <laughs> honey. Yes, I live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you for Sissy. bringing your fabulousness. I love you. I, I love, love you too. Thank you, Sissy. Thank you. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Where can these people find you, my girl? Okay, you guys can find me on Instagram at Terry Arcelia, T E R R I A R C E L I A. If you're a TikToker, it's mm. official Terry Arcelia. Um, yeah, and just keep up with your girl. I'm about to be on a national television show. It's gonna yes. be hilarious. Yes. Um, so yeah, just tune in. Tune in or whatever. Tune in. And my name is Cocktails with Carly. You can find me on Instagram at Cocktails with Carly underscore. Of course, you can watch our show yes. on uh, cocktailswithcarly.com. And our actual Instagram is let's talk about it over, let's talk over cocktails. Sorry, guys. <laughs> let's talk over cocktails. cocktails. So thank you so much for watching. Salute. Like and subscribe. We appreciate you. Bye.